at a war between superfluous bishops and R.G. Tarantino. Almost 2000 rated war. So, first game, we start with the Elephant Gambit. Oh, wow. Okay, the Elephant Gambit. And this line of the Elephant Gambit, which is basically very equal. Actually, hmm. Okay. Um, here, first point of contention, maybe taking was fine. Okay, but that was not done. Now, probably... Black has to play bishop g6. Yes. So, material is level. Black loses the bishop pair. As far as elephant gambit positions go, this is uh, quite good. This line in the elephant gambit is quite interesting. This is all forced. Um, yep. Seems all forced. Perhaps actually, queen takes d4 could be considered. No, I'm not. I'm not familiar with the theory in the Alpha and Gambit, so let's not uh, let's not try to recreate, uh, rediscover the wheel. Actually, it's interesting maybe to check it out since the game is uh, it's just an end game, relatively equal material. Maybe we can check that out. Imagine we won't be getting a lot of master games in the Elephant Gambit. So, how did it start this one? d5, he took with the knight, bishop, and he played takes. Wait, what? No. Uh, bishop d6, he played d4. d4. Takes and bishop c4 takes queen h5. This is apparently a line, seems to be in the backwaters of theory. Queen e7, queen takes d4 has been played, but it got lost. The game, queen e7 is the best move, apparently. Queen takes d4, queen takes f7, check isn't so good. So let's see who's the guy who thought Queen takes d4 uh, was interesting, like I did. Saric Christina, a girl actually. Uh, wait, no, uh, her opponent was Damir Samovoiska. So they thought this was an interesting move. Queen h5, Queen e7. Wow, black scores well here. Okay, I should probably take a look at the game as it unfolded. Okay. So. 97 developing. Rook e1 adding more pressure to the e4 pawn. Knight before attacking the c2 pawn. This is defended. Takes, takes. Uh, rook d4 is a bit of a strange way to develop. Black loses a pawn. And... Wow, looks quite bad. Now rook d1. Rook d1 looks particularly strong. He chooses to move the bishop. Okay. Fair. Okay, just let me finish up this game at least. So, queen takes e5. Queen takes, d takes. Because this is very relevant to how the match progresses. So... Bear with me, knight c6, knight c3, bishop here, okay. So knight c6. Now knight c3, bishop f5. Okay, the, there doesn't seem to be impro an improvement. It seems white has basically cracked the code. Nice, okay. Ooh, this is very strong. Bishop f2 has to be played to prevent the nasties on, uh, on uh, g2. So yeah, I think if you're black here, you shouldn't be repeating this line anymore. Oh, giving up. Wow, bishop f2. What was wrong with bishop f2 there? Bishop f2 was fine, I believe. Okay, maybe it was missed. Now, black is simply up a piece and uh, there seems to be almost a checkmate brewing here. Three pieces. 
three pieces are made actually g5 is very accurate mm, no this allows the king to escape g5 would have been much more accurate oh <laughs> okay still he might get a queen yeah he is going to get a queen but he allowed far too much counterplay that wasn't necessary let's see the the skills the flagging skills rj tarantino has a Nah, relatively okay connection. Okay. Superfluous bishops is going to check him all, all, all around the world. <laughs> by the way, guys. By the way. Okay, he's allowing far too many checks. Okay, superfluous bishops. Hello, Bailouf. Skills that matter. Yes, fate. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> And this was actually a blunder because you can take. Okay, so superfluous bishops escapes with that game. Yeah, the skill that matters the most. Mm -mm. Okay, so h4, early aggression against the Dutch. Perhaps this is quite accurate, actually. Actually, you know, d4, f5, h4. Actually, the, the computer gives this like plus 0.4 at very high depths. I remember checking this out one time. This begins with a tilt, yes, Bailouf. It's imp very important for RJ Tarantino not to tilt because he did very well to come back in that game and then to lose like that. Ah, ah. By the way, we're going to have uh, to have an interview with the players after uh, this game finishes, after the war finishes. So we might want to ask them about the elephant gambit. Joke sing one, this is why classical is bay. Yes. But, there are certain downsides with classical. <laughs> Not everyone can commit all that time. So, uh, that's one downside. Okay, this is this seems like a normal dodge. I don't like the fact that... Okay, I like the fact that white won a pawn. <laughs> I don't like the fact that uh, h4 was played in connection with castles. I would have kept the king in the center and went for, a, for an attack. The only bay is Bailouf. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Are we gonna pretend we don't know RJ in real life? <laughs> no, we're not. We're, no, we're not. I'd pretend I don't know you in real life, Bailouf, but not RJ. Crafty name, though. I'll give you credit for that. Crafty, wow. That brings me back so many years ago. Crafty the chess engine. If anyone remembers crafty it's still it's still being developed I think if I recall correctly it's still uh, participating in computer championships okay 94 is a very strong move ah but Bishop takes B G7 check is even stronger because now you have the option of playing Queen B2 check and then moving the Knight what you don't want is takes and taking here, because that would give black too much activity, maybe. That would still be fine, though. Okay, yeah, this I would probably just play knight uh, d3. Seems reasonable. Bishop d3 is also reasonable. Yeah, you have to be... Oh, this seems to... Does it win something? Yeah, I did notice this, but uh, I wasn't... Yeah, this this wins something, huh? Ouch. This does win something. Yeah. That's why you needed to move the knight. Queen e5, there's rook e8. Rook f8. Something pretentious is here. Excellent. We have fate and something pretentious. And Bailouf and Joksing. <laughs> Yes, joking, yes. Joking, sorry. I am old. At least to me, yes. <laughs> For, to some people. So. Yo. Yo. Yo, hello. <laughs> okay. When, whenever I see blunders like this, I feel a pain in my heart and... Uh, Okay, so uh, white is still down a piece. It's not like this will change the result of the game, most likely. But... Uh, 
<laughs> speechless fishy, yeah, kind of speechless. I turned into a goat, uh, into a, a sheep. Some people would say I already am a sheep. Those people would be wrong. I'm part of the resistance. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not much hope left. Queen e4 is very accurate. Queen g3, queen e4, g4. h4 is allowing perhaps a bit much, but... Huh? We are all sheep in the big picture. Fate. <laughs> the 1200s are playing. <laughs> okay, Bailoof. Big farmer. <laughs> is that uh, is that uh, are they are there big farmers and big pharma now? <laughs> big pharma with a, with an F. Okay, I have no clue what uh, Black is doing, but it's like he's trying to get a draw. <laughs> but uh, at least he's still up on time. Okay, I... Yeah, Black is trying his best to get a draw, but... But White refuses. He, he wants to go down on time. One second every move is not going to cut it. And yeah, black has these uh, checks, rinse and repeat. Queen g4 earlier would have been so much more accurate, right? Okay, this will get the job done. This game is painful, yes. It's painful to watch, it's painful to play. <laughs> like everyone is repeating the checks like seven times. Did he just drop a draw there? Ooh, he dropped a draw. <laughs> he dropped a draw. Wow. <laughs> no, check here. It doesn't matter. Whoa. He kicked it into overdrive, RJ Tarantino. <laughs> like one of mine. <laughs> Uh, RJ Tarantino. Why am I? Oh, I, I got out of uh, RJ Tarantino's TV. Oops, <laughs> I forgot to include that. So, the Alekhine. What is this? Potentially 4 pawns attack? Wait, what? Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, this is a 4 pawns attack. Okay, I got confused for a second there. Normal position. B3. Queen D2. Hmm. Seems like superfluous bishops knows his theory. Okay, here there are multiple options. H6, bishop G6. Rook E8 is a bit slow. Queen C1. Ah, superfluous bishops has watched my games against Joe Assad. He knows what to do in the 4 pawns attack. <laughs> Now you don't know what they're doing. This is actually, if you watch my games against Joe Assad, this is uh, topical theory in the four pawns attack. I've checked this all out with an engine up until this point. Night before should have been played much earlier, actually, but it's played now. Yeah, I can show you potentially a game. The 1200s know their theory, yes, but wait till they get out of book. <laughs> That's when you'll see everyone checking, <laughs> every each side checking the other side for 70 moves. Finally, h6 is played. And connection with king h8, I don't know about the wisdom of that, but uh, fine. Rook d2. Okay, plans are difficult to come by here. Uh, bishop g1 is a very important move I found as well, trying to reroute to h2 at some point. Okay, this just drops a piece. Oh no, it doesn't. Uh, drops. Drops. What does it drop? I'm confused. Wait, hold on. So if rook takes f5, 
Quintex E2 takes, takes, takes. What's the material situation? Black would be down a piece. So he chooses to do this, but oh my god, with this bishop? Hmm. Yeah, the two minor pieces and the pawns. Yeah, this is completely winning for white. <laughs> Fate, oh my god. Fate, you can't do this to me. <laughs> This is 10 out of 10 comment to be honest. Okay, we'll give it 9.5 because I I might be... Because I laughed a lot uh, on that comment, but uh, sometimes I might uh, roll over the floor. Ooh! Queen takes h6 check. <laughs> GG, yo. Wow, excellent play by white. Excellent play by white. Gonna be... Th might be 3-0. Let's not... Yeah, let's not... <laughs> Up to this point, so what did Fate say that got me so riled up? Up to this point, White has been following well-known... Uh, not riled up, but anyway. Uh, up to this point, White has been following well-known analysis. But now, he makes a fatal error. He begins to use his own head. <laughs> oh, that's a Tarash quote? <laughs> I knew I must have heard it somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, now I remembered it. I should have replaced that with black, but the quote said white, I was torn to be honest, yeah. Unclear. How about, uh, maybe you should have uh, changed them both. Tarash was a medical doctor. And an excellent player. Of course he was a revolutionary. Okay, so two minor pieces. Two extra pawns. Not going for the queen trade is certainly interesting. Are we going to see? He's going to blunder. <laughs> he didn't see knight f6. Boo. Okay, now knight f6 doesn't work. Okay, now black has chances. Yeah, white should have traded pieces. Or at least gone for the opportunity of. You know, black taking the spawn and getting away with it. Mm-hmm. H5, H6. The pawns are rolling. Black is ill-equipped to stop that. H H6 anyway. <clears throat> Knight F6. Uh, look away, children. Queen F6 is checkmate in two. Why is he not playing it? Why? Why did you? Why did he move the queen back? Why? <laughs> why? Yeah, why must I lose to this idiot? That's a famous quote by Nemzovic. <laughs> what even are these games? <laughs> Seriously. Seriously, is the pressure getting to RG Tarantino superfluous? Queen E1 wins the bishop. Oh my god. What hurts more is they're not taking the opportunity. Why did he try to tra qu trade queen? Seriously, why is he not checking there? What's happening? Okay. Come on. He's takes e7. Please. No, 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 no. This was mate in 2. Queen f5, queen 8. Uh, no, it wasn't mate in 2. The bishop was covering. Anyway, something. Play. No, I don't know. What's going on? Check on h... Mm. Spain's me. <laughs> no, don't give up g6. Check. You had. This is a draw. This was a draw. He gave a mate. No. <laughs> the queen h4 check was a draw. Queen. queen uh, you want check. Queen h4 check. <laughs> Can you force them to switch to 3 plus 2? <laughs> Guys, I tell you, when they're going to uh, rewatch the VOD of this, they're not going to be very happy. A take back. <laughs> he mouse slipped the Karo Khan. <laughs> Every time someone is going to play the Karo Khan now in classical games, I'm going to ask them, Hmm, <laughs> did you mean the Sicilian? I'll accept the take back. <laughs> yeah, joke thing, well noted. Same game, Queen Bishop versus Queen, different colors. <laughs> exactly. 
Patsaruk in the chat. Hello, Patsaruk. Patsaruk. A very clever name. I wouldn't be happy if these were my games either. <laughs> Don't be so harsh, guys. The Karo is a mouse slip, yes. It's an ingenious mouse slip. It's a mouse slip so well deserving of. Uh, uh, critical acclaim that one uh, Tal says if you want to draw go for the Sicilian if you want to win go for the Karukan He didn't know it was a mouse slip Mouse mouses weren't created at that time Note the usage of the word mouses and not mice <laughs> Okay pure dedication in the chat room. I don't have my earbuds, so I can't watch the stream. I want to keep up with the words though Chess wars every day, every day a chess war. While we're locked up <laughs> in our houses, we're we're uh, watching chess wars every day. Chess is inherently toxic. Can't argue with that. Okay, so uh, speaking of the game here, Black's bishop is looking like wood. Uh, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa! These dark squares, yeah. Black's complete control of these dark squares is something to marvel at. He's trying for some counterplay, but simply g3. Actually, I think I saw a queen trap. No. Um, how do you do the queen trap? Uh, like, I was thinking knight f6 check obviously wins an exchange. Uh, a clean rook, actually. Thinking if you can play some g3, but there's always knight takes. You don't need that, just take here. Of course, there's this issue, but uh, you can always sacrifice. It's not such a big deal. Yeah, he takes the rook. Yeah, you can always sacrifice, it's no problemo. Maybe uh, let's try to find something stronger, I guess. H3, there's just queen g3. He doesn't even go for that, okay. Now now knight, knight d6 or knight f6. Uh, okay, yeah. Now you need to protect the spawn. I have a bad feeling here. <laughs> These Zoom calls are going to be <laughs> hilarious, I can't promise anything. Yeah, sadly, uh, Mr. Fishy is uh, not the best technician. <laughs> and not just in chess play. Okay, he drops e5 for some reason. I told you I have a bad feeling about this. This seems okay. A queen d5, you can maybe meet with rook d1. Okay, you're asking... You're asking for some bishop d4 here. Yeah, now g4 is threatened. g4 is threatened. This is a move slower than g4. Why? Why? Okay, this still wins. Takes, bishop check, knight f6 check. Or does it still win? Yes, it should, right? Knight f6. But then where do you discover? Okay, you discovered this way. Yeah, not very optimal for white. Uh, try this. What are you doing? This is going to be a draw now. Okay, goes knight g5. Ouch, mate threat, bishop f2 is the only move, oh my god, I have a bad feeling, I have a bad No, bishop f2 loses to... <laughs> Ouch, ouch, yeah, I told you guys I have a bad feeling Oh, 
the pawn is the pawn is coming. The pawn is coming. Ouch. Brutal. No. <laughs> Why did he not check with the rook and mate on g2? I will never understand. Mate on g2. Mate on g2. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Both of them aren't playing well today. But uh, super f four zero for super fluid bishops. Wow. Okay, we must switch actually to super fluid bishops. RJ Tarantino came in as the rating favorite, by the way. Yeah, but that game he was completely in control. See, I I don't know if he's tilting from the first game or not. Yeah. So for the Zoom call, I'm going just to call them on WhatsApp because of the Zoom call. Uh, I was not able to make it work, and I didn't want to delay this match till uh, I'm able to make it work. If anyone can, uh, in the chat, if anyone knows how to how I can make a Zoom call work in OBS or something, or maybe use a software other than Zoom, would be good. Okay, yeah, this variation for white I don't like so much. Yes, he recovers the pawn and wins the bishop pair. E6 is trying to keep this within gambit territory, but I don't think it's necessi necessary. <clears throat> yeah, H6, are you going to play G5? Probably not. The spin is uh, a bit annoying actually though. Lead chess call option, yes. Maybe we can do that. But it's only voice, right? Leeches is the only site I can trust. <laughs> I've never Voice actually chat used... Is ready. <laughs> Voice chat is ready. <laughs> Voice chat is ready. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Who's the... <laughs> I wonder Voice if... chat is ready. I wonder if we know the voice actor here. <laughs> Okay, so he's recovering the bishop pair, and still this nasty pin. Uh huh. Now takes bishop here, bishop here. I'm starting to slightly prefer white actually now. With these weakened kingside pawns, there's potentially a four. Oh my god, RJ Tarantino, please make a comeback. 4-0, this is really bad. <laughs> Beiluf said in the chat, I'm like, if 4 year old, F4 is much needed, I believe. F4, come on, you're controlling G4, he can't play G4. What is Rookie 1? Come on. 4 would have been so much better, I believe, on the move earlier as well. Yeah, so uh, Beiluf said that I'm like uh, a seven-year-old using my mom's phone. <laughs> B3, 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 oh, B3 drops something. But to be honest, I'd still do it, because you don't want black doing this now. Okay, this is reasonable, of course, as well. Yeah, play play queen uh, bishop e5 at least. Make use of the diagonal. H3 is. Yeah, you're getting an escape square, but for what reason? I mean, okay, at least bishop c4 is now met with uh, b3. Well, now maybe b3. Queen. Queen f3. Why? <laughs> Why are you trading off your... S not only this, but you'll actually end up losing a pawn. And it's not... And he loses a pawn. Okay, black could have won a pawn. He decided to lose one. He decided to lose a rook. What the f... <laughs> He's not taking the rook. Okay. Yeah, he was making sure that was a rook because... 5-0? <laughs> what in the world? 
RJ Tarantino came in as a 2000 guys RJ you need to focus man We don't want to see a war like this Wars need to be close That's why we have a 200 rating point difference D4 D4 Superfluous bishops taking his sweet time you're up 5-0, don't mess with him, man. <laughs> RJ Tarantino, I am your father. <laughs> How the call will start. <laughs> yeah, superfluous bishops. Uh, Mac adopted him. Mac adoption. Mac adoption. Mac adoption. Is everyone else's stream quality low at the moment? Ooh, 144p. That's bad. <laughs> You're watching us from the dark ages. Okay, uh, first, not the first, but I mean this position is very, very advantageous for white. Okay, take on f6 and play h5. Do it. Do it now. So is it still bad? Yeah, bishop d3 is reasonable as well. <laughs> I feel attacked watching happily at 160p. <laughs> Even though it keeps buffering. <laughs> uh, so the improvements in internet speed didn't hit you, Bailouf? Oh, SP, stop it. Stop it. I'll start believing what you're saying. Yes, joking. That's very much warranted. The O faces for the YouTube uh, viewers. SP said, I need accurate representation of Fishy's beautiful face. Yes, yes. Everyone does. Everyone does. It's, it's, a, it's an asset for mankind. Nietzsche is not a dating site. <laughs> not for you, maybe you're doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah, let's not encourage that, SP. <laughs> if there's one point in human history that humans should uh, keep dating on the downloads now. Uh, I watched uh, an interview with uh, Sanjay Gupta. He's a smart medical doctor. He said, uh, uh, they asked him, uh, should people stop using Tinder for, uh, because of the coronavirus outbreak? He said they, should, they shouldn't even be using uh, Tinder before the coronavirus outbreak. <laughs> it's Tinder for geeks, ooh. <laughs> I love when chess players... Yeah, Black is doing, by the way, a good job at defending this because his position is full of holes, full of holes. In the hands of a really strong player, Bishop d5 is threatened. Bishop d5 is missed. Actually, to be honest, the way Black's position is going, losing the exchange, h5, I love this. Now, RJ Tarantino is, is bringing the 2000 rated player within him. Yeah, I love when uh, chess players, they call other chess players nerds or geeks. What are you? What are you? It's chess profiles of that. <laughs> yeah, they're big users of Tinder, huh? I agree, Tinder kills social life. GG, full of holes. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, if there, if there were ever a perfect opportunity to make a that's what she said joke. I just gave him that opportunity. Okay, Black's position, however full of holes it is and bad, um, has quite improved actually. Uh, perhaps some bishop takes c4 or queen f7, bishop c4, uh, bishop f5, even queen takes h5. Yeah, bishop takes c4 is very reasonable. We need more, that's what she said jokes. Um, Okay, maybe. Why is he giving up 
another uh, yeah so so black was down the exchange now he's down a full piece that's not a good transformation of advantages Ooh, wow 95 is killer okay rj tarantino is bouncing back rj tarantino is bouncing back yeah no way black saves this okay but the way this match was <laughs> yeah but because rj tarantino now the stream is pg rated <laughs> Okay, so Bailuf wants to. Okay, he resigns. Yes, Bailuf wants to meet uh, his wife uh, while playing Bug House. <laughs> okay, RJ with the win. Yes, match might be changing. So hopefully it's close. Okay, Queen D6 Scandi. Okay, you know what, what this implies? Since no one but Magnus plays the Queen D6 Scandi, it definitely means RG Tarantino is using Magnus's help. We know Magnus today streamed on Chess 24, so now, so now Magnus is uh, he he was near a computer. He decided RG Tarantino just told him, you know, when you're done with your banter plots, just uh, if I'm losing badly, just play a few games on my account. Magnus plays a6, not c6, I think. Uh, I remember him playing c6, but it doesn't matter. He's p if he is if he doesn't play it, he's p he's doing this on purpose so people think it's not Magnus. But we're up to you, Magnus. This is dropping g4, by the way. Will this be seen? Will this be seen? It is not seen. A5 and then play take on g4. Okay, it's not doing it. <laughs> Please, take on g4. Hello? Laken, what's up? What's up, Laken? Yeah, uh, but I saw, I saw that you won your game and I was... Uh, uh, I wanted to log into uh, Slack because I'm very much behind on reading up on Slack. So... Uh, I wanted to congratulate you on... Uh, I actually saw the game, by the way. I wanted to congratulate you in uh, Leech's private messages, but I thought I'd log in to Slack and catch up, and I forgot to, as usual. Yeah, I watched your game. It was very nice. Um, and, uh, by the way, the improvement is not to go back with Bishop h4 in the Mora. It's to play Bishop e3. That's uh, what Esserman recommends, and it's something I've... Uh, I've seen to be correct, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, you have a first beside your name. What's that for? Uh... Who's better here, black? Um... Difficult to say, to be honest. I, I, these kinds of positions need some time. I don't know, with the, the way the spawn structure is, I would say, okay, this just allows knight g3, it's not played, knight g3 actually would have been strong because there's this coming, so knight g3, if rook h2 just to protect h3, otherwise there's, there's rook takes h3, we have knight f1, I believe that works. Uh, what's good is that I'm not playing. Okay, a pawn is picked up. Yeah, Laken, actually, in that... Th this is very funny, because in that video by John, I commented on the video, I told him that uh, the improvement in theory is to play bishop, uh, uh, bishop uh, e3. That's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, black is uh, now black is clearly better, but uh, earlier I would have wouldn't have been so sure. Hello, Shimeishi, what's up? Okay, f4. I'm not sure about potentially gives the four square, but uh, the knight is far. Actually, no, no, it's not really that far, huh? Ooh, g6 is dropping. G6 is dropping. G6 is dropping. Does anyone see g6? No one sees g6. He decided to take the pawn instead. Ah. 
Okay, go back. Now, but, but no, if he goes back now, there's a knight of four. Knight of four is devastating, actually. Fishy out here teaching I am. Yeah, actually, what Fate said is a hundred percent true. Serious title players don't know anything about degenerate chess. Actually, that's very true. Uh, <laughs> like they've played serious openings for so long, the, the their knowledge of uh, degenerate chess. The aura isn't degenerate. Fate, degenerate fate, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's very very bad. Yes, yes, that's true. I mean, take a look in this stream, actually, the first game, we took a look at, uh, I can show you this after this game ends, because RG Tarantino is really low on time. He's much better, but he's really low on time. Actually, I don't know about much better, it's not so clear here. He needs to speed up, activate this rook. RG Tarantino, what are you doing, man? You're killing me. RG Tarantino, wake up! <laughs> My voice is cracking. Degenerate Lama Chess. <laughs> yeah. Superfluous, bi superfluous Bishops picks that up. Yeah, no, no, not the time for a comeback. Predication 6-1. It's, it's astounding. First to seven, yes. It's it's actually pure education. It's everyone's freaking astounding. Okay, so this line, okay. There was someone twenty two hundred. Look at the someone twenty two hundred played queen takes d four, and this gives if you look twenty three hundred actually, not twenty two hundred. Queen takes f seven check plus two. So he the. Damir, I, I'm not sure if whether or not it's uh, uh, the, the sex of the person, uh, so we'll use they. So they, uh, Damir, uh, Damir is playing the elephant gambit, already a bad gambit, and uh, a very questionable one. <laughs> and uh, they took on d4. So yeah. Putting the Tarantino name into shame. Hmm. Yes, I am streaming. Actually, shouldn't it show up here somewhere that I'm streaming? Why doesn't it show up? Maybe if I refresh. Okay. Le Dutch. <laughs> the Licha spam filter there didn't let me put, type yes another time. One of the weaknesses of automated systems. Okay, now I'll switch switch back to yes. Will it allow me to type it? <laughs> okay, Mr. Omar says in the chat yes and said it didn't allow me, even though I sw switched back. So if I type yes, yup, then yes, I can't do that. Okay, okay. Ooh, e5 seems very strong. E5 seems very strong because takes is met by knight takes e5 and there is a lot of pressure on g6 which would be dropping and this allows e6 though I don't know about the strength of e6 to be honest how how strong is e6 it does kill off the bishop though yeah this bishop how is it going to get activated c6 is like never really doing anything because you have enough defense over it and g6 might be dropping. Actually, an interesting thing would be queen e8 still defending g6, then e7. Maybe e7 now. Mm, would be would be interesting, though I can't foresee the consequences of something like e7, rook e8. Rook e yeah, probably no, that's, no, that gives the bishop activity. Never mind that, let's not play with that. Okay, RG Tarantino really needs to pick it up on time. What about e5, bishop f5? Ah, ah, I did not see that. Uh, yes, because then after e6, you can just move the queen. And uh, if you move the queen, yeah, that seems very decent, actually. That was missed by all of us. Okay, this now looks really ugly. <laughs> looks really ugly. 
RJ Tarantino apparently sorry uh, so, someone said in the chat that he's rated 1444 okay and bullet yeah maybe that explains it okay now queen h4 bishop d7 uh, bishop e5 looks quite strong knight f4 uh, yeah fine okay yeah black is obviously much better white is playing without this bishop without any piece <laughs> yeah here just go here SP not even a mod. Can you believe that, Laken? Can you believe that? <laughs> hey, Laken, that's mod abuse. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> Fight me now, Laken. <laughs> Said when he got the sword. Oh, bishop, the queen takes h2. Sadly, this match looks over. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> War for mod privileges. All the mods in the chat. We have more mods than normal users in this chat room. <laughs> 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 Top 10 chess stream betrayals. <laughs> okay, Superfluous Bishops is taking his sweet time. His sweet time. Yes, it makes sense. What is he up here? A piece? And. Uh, okay, the piece he's up isn't yet active, but it could be easily. Yeah, just Queen uh, e3 here. Wins something, right? Queen b6 is a bit passive. Queen b3, yeah, there was queen c2, but it would have eventually picked up something, I believe, after something like g3. Okay, RG Tarantino is fighting back, but no way he'll be able to. Okay, let's believe. With this amount of time, though. RJ, you need to speed up, buddy. Okay, now takes on b4 is very strong. Bishop f5. What? <laughs> no, bishop f5 was it? <laughs> no. Bishop f5, yeah, because knight takes, you take the queen, and if queen takes, you take... Wow, 7-1. Okay. Let's see if uh, they're going... So, the intention was to have a call for this match, but... Uh, definitely RJ Tarantino wasn't expecting this, so I don't know if he'll uh, want to show up. Loser apologize on the stream. Yeah, SP and uh, Laken. Laken, uh, I think you're rated 1700 in Blitz. SP, you're 2000. We probably can't do, uh, make a chess war there. UFC cage war. No, no UFC cage wars in this current viral situation. <laughs> Laken would win the cage fight. <laughs> Whoa, three times more. <laughs> For real, or is that a guesstimate? Two times isn't far off, okay. <laughs> Huge. Laken, what's your height? Are you part of the prune tall club? <laughs> How many bananas are? <laughs> That's an interesting way to measure uh, height. And fathoms, hmm. A bit dated. Fifteen bananas, okay. But which type of bananas? I remember a Magnus stream where he was talking about bananas for like 15 minutes. 
Okay, so RJ doesn't want to um, come to the call. Okay, we'll do it sometime later then. Banana for scale dot info. Should we open it on stream? <laughs> 18 bananas is 10 feet tall? <laughs> what in the world? 10 feet tall. I'm around 10 feet, <laughs> ask Fishy, yeah, no. Shashopa, hello. We just got uh, done with the stream. Superfluous Bishops, 171, a very surprising results because RJ Tarantino came in as, as the rating favorite. Okay, so what word do we have tomorrow? Tomorrow, today is Sunday. Let me just check the itinerary. Okay, tomorrow we have Hashem Al Agha against Munir Pshuti. So, two 1800, 1900 players. 10.2 bananas. I think if uh, joking is 10.2 bananas, then probably 10 bananas to the dot. Friday we have a very exciting chess war, Beilouf against Dr. 1000 IQ, Beilouf against Shemesh is burning, two bitter rivals, and uh, the day before that on Thursday I'm going to play Joe Assad, I'm 2400, he's 2300, blitz, and we have also Joe Assad against Dr. 1000 IQ. If anyone wants to sign up for a chess war, please contact me. Would be very interesting. For now, it's been restricted to my chess social circle. <laughs> because no one as of yet has signed up. Lake in something pretentious, chess war would be very nice, but I think the ratings are too far apart. Maybe something pretentious against T-Mouse, that would be very fun. <laughs> Signing up for wars, <laughs> we USA now, boys. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Forced conscription, yes, yes. I'm not even nine bananas tall. Oh, fate. <laughs> Should I feel sorry? I don't know. <laughs> We need a leaderboard with bragging rights. There already is a leaderboard. I've posted it. Bananas are the best unit. <laughs> I have no idea why Beilouf uses bananas as chest units. As a uh, height units. <laughs> chest units. Hmm. How many bananas is a typical pawn in the Staunton set? Hmm. Freud has a clue why, okay, okay, fair point. Yes, Freud, Freud has a clue why. Everything is related to the phallus. <laughs> we were talking about weight though, not height. Yes, yes, that's true. You said you were twice as, uh, as heavy as uh, SP. <laughs> How many bananas do you weigh? Okay, is there is there a site for that SP? Can you find one? 
bananas for scale. <laughs> oh, same site that also has the way. 